Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Table of Madness, the channel we cover everything TCG related based and we do a lot of action figure and collectible reviews and today we are taking a look at the Battle Spirit Saga Dragon Onslaught starter deck. Now I did open a booster box of Battle Spirit Saga, you guys really liked that video so I'm actually going to now going to be going through all of the starter decks and also stick around to the very end because I'm going to show you guys how you guys can upgrade this. I'm going to be taking 15 cards out of the starter deck and adding 15 cards in. And I'm going to be doing all of that for under $15. All right, you guys, we are all set. Let's go ahead and take a look at the starter deck, the Dragon Onslaught. Also, too, if you guys want to know how to play this game, how to play Battle Spirit Saga, uh, look up on YouTube, Jex Gaming. Huge shout out to him. He will teach you how to play this game in under seven minutes. So if you want to learn real quick and pick up how to play this game, it's very easy to understand. Go check out his video. Type in Battle Spirit Saga or how to play Battle Spirit Saga, uh, and look up or look up Jex Gaming and type that in on his channel. How to play Battle Spirit Saga. He'll teach you guys how to play in under seven minutes. Easy to understand. Um, very good game. Uh, very good channel. I mean, so huge shout out to him. So we do get our actual core here. And this is what you need. This is the main red soul core. Everybody has at least one of these to start the game off. Uh, and basically that kind of acts like your mana in this game. There's the deck. And then of course we actually do get, and this is what I think the booster box kind of missed in my opinion. I thought they should have added at least a pack of these for every booster box, at least for the first set. So these are your actual cores. And you pull these out of the void. You also, I think, start with five of these in your life. Um, like I said, it's very easy game to pick up. Let's go ahead and pull them out. So we actually get two little packs of these, which is nice. So if you go ahead and pick up all four starter decks, you'll probably have enough to go ahead and take and bring to your locals with you. And like I said, you pull these out of the void, which is just like your mana base. And this what your, your spirits need to basically be summoned. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got inside the starter deck. And like I said, stick around to the very end. I'm going to show you guys an easy budget way to upgrade this deck. We're going to take 15 cards out, put 15 cards in, do all of it for under $15. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what the actual starter deck does come with. And of course, my is a budget friendly version of this, so it won't be the most optimized. It's just a budget friendly version of upgrading this. So you guys can take it to your locals, play with your friends and have a good time. Uh, we'll start off with, I think, what we get two copies. Yep, two copies of Nebula Dragon Armada, which is going to be the main win con of this deck so we get two copies of that that card is very expensive too uh galaxy dragon Andromedus. we get one two three imperial thunder dragon siege worm one two and three copies of that rain needle this card right here and a little hidden secret about this game is you basically win by putting out some of the big creatures maybe like one or two of them but you really win with these smaller creatures right here these are basically your win cons this is how you win the game you over flood with maybe one or two big strong creatures that kind of clear the pathway then you put down these smaller creatures and you swing with game so we get one two three copies of that quicksand dragon we get three copies of that I'll go ahead and ship this up on there moonbow dragon we get one two and three blade dino parasaur one two three this is all about dragons and dinosaurs pretty much what red runs uh blazing boar one two three seems like you get three of every every copy except for the main dragon dragon trooper we get oh we get four copies of that interesting so four copies of dragon trooper uh dragon shock trooper we get three of those dragon captain three of those scorch battlefield now these are your nexus these basically act like uh enchantments in magic the gathering field spells in Yu-Gi-Oh, stuff like that one two three uh star altar we get three of those charge draw it's a pretty good card there because this is a pay to draw too oh we do get four copies of that okay i like that landmine and this is also two these are magic cards too you basically pay and you place it down these are kind of like trap cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. one two three and we do get four copies of landmine and then we have firewall which is another magic and we do get 
three copies of Firewall. So, all right, so that was the Dragon Onslaught deck. Now I'm gonna show you guys what cards to be taking out. Don't forget, we're taking 15 cards out, putting 15 cards in under $15. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now what 15 cards we're gonna be taking out. All right, so we're gonna show you guys right now the 15 cards to take out. So starting with the spirits, the monsters, we're gonna be removing all three copies of Blazing Boar, all three copies of Dragron Captain, three copies of Dragno Shock Troop, and you can make an argument too, you can keep that one in if you really want to, you can also remove the Quicksand Dragon, but the build I'm going for, and I'll show you in a little bit, we're going for a Star Dragon friendly build. And then we're also going to be removing three copies of Firewall and three copies of Scorched Battlefield. And like I said, we're removing these cards because they don't fit the friendly build that I'm going with here. And like I said, really the build is budget friendly around these two guys right here, Galaxy Dragon and Nebula Dragon. Nebula Dragon and Galaxy Dragon both are Star Dragons. The whole deck wants you to basically use the ability Confront or Awaken or be very friendly to Star Dragons and reduce their cost heavily, really kind of focusing around Galaxy Dragon and building into Nebula Dragon. So let's go head over to TCG players. I'm going to show you guys exactly what 15 cards to add, how much it's going to cost you. And like I said, I'm going to do all of it under $15. So let's head over there now. All right, you guys, we are here at TCG player. I'm going to be showing you guys the 15 cards you're going to be adding and why. And like I said, we're going to do all of it under $15. And of course, I'm using TCG Play so you guys can see the prices even as of right now at the time of this recording, which is May 29th. You can see right there on my computer. The first card you're going to be adding in, no surprise here, it's the most expensive one. Nebula Dragon Andromeda. It is basically the, the king monster that wants to basically, this whole deck is built around this one. It is going to come in at a whopping $7.75. And you can only get this one under the uh, starter deck, Dragon Onslaught deck. And like I said, it has one of the main abilities which is confront which is when this spirit attacks your opponent must block and like i said the unspoken truth about battle spirit saga is that these bigger monsters basically just clear a path for the smaller monsters that you can just lay waste to your opponent in basically one or two turns i mean this game is a fast paced game and it also has to the ability of when summon select one of your opponent's spirits with 3000 or less or one of their nexus and destroy it again the reason why you want this you want we only get two copies but the starter decks you do want a third of course obviously under 15 dollars i can't add which is what i would personally want to do is add two copies of this again this is a budget friendly version keep that in mind budget friendly version the next one we want to add is four copies of divine halberd dragon arc excellent card here very friendly to uh the star dragons also too pretty cheap right so all four copies are going to run you uh 30 cents each which is going to come in at a dollar 20. also too this is also a very cost friendly star dragon it only costs three but can get reduced by two so basically you can only pay one for this and the biggest thing about this card, the reason why you want four copies of this one is this ability right here like i just said earlier unspoken truth about battle spirit saga is the smaller creatures are the ones that are going to take you out the bigger creatures are going to lay the path they'll lay the foundation for those smaller creatures and this card at levels one two and three neither player of life can be reduced by any by an attack from a spirit that has 2000 or fewer bp so really crucial because some of these smaller creatures are just a pain in the butt this card will at least protect you from that it also has level two and three when this spirit Attack, select one of your opponent's spirit with 2,000 or less and destroy it. So you also get card removal as well as 2,000 or less cannot beat you. It has to be 3,000 or more. So four copies of this one, the must. The next card we're going to be adding, we're going to be adding three copies of White Hole Dragon. Comes in at four, can only be reduced by one. Pretty cheap though. So this is only going to run you 15 cents, five cents each, each card. So 15 cents, not bad at all. And again, it has levels one, two, and three. It has a flash ability and it has the awaken. You may remove any number of cores from your other spirits. When destroyed, effects are not triggered by this effect. Basically, if one of your creatures gets destroyed, you can take all of their cores and add it to this card. So basically, if it's on level one, you can easily upgrade this to level two or level three. And really, you're going to go for level three because when this card is destroyed, select one of your opponent's spirits with BP equal to or fewer than this one destroyed. So anything that's less than 6,000, you're going to destroy. This card, like I said, for the cost of three, it's basically just another landmine. When this thing gets destroyed, hopefully you have it at level three. Blow this thing up, blow something of your opponent's. 
just a win-win there. Again, you're only going to add three copies, and again, it's another Star Dragon. And the other last spirit that we're going to be adding is just one copy of Rain Needle. We only get three in the deck. I do like to round this out to four. It comes in at 48 cents. And again, it's just a pretty vanilla card, but it's a one drop and it can be reduced by one. So essentially this card can be played for free, which is so crucial in this game to be able to just throw something down the field for free. Just slap a core on it. Boom. You have yourself an easy card to play. And of course, it does kind of go against the green with Divine Halberd. So make sure you do have it at level two here. Of course, if you want it level one, it's just a nice good chump blocker in the end. Now, like I said, all of these cards that we're adding are all Star Dragons, and the cards we're going to be taking out earlier kind of go hand in hand with cards like this, the Magic cards. The first Magic card you're going to be adding is three copies of Big Bang Energy. So, of course, that's going to come in at 30 cents. And, of course, it has a main ability during this turn. All Star Dragon Spirit cards in your hand have a cost equal to your life total. So, if you're running low on life, this is an excellent card to slap onto the field and just start bringing out cheap cards at that point. It also has a secondary ability, which is select one spirit. It gains 2000 BP during this turn. Really, we're not going for that. We're really just going for this main ability right here. And then last but not least, you're going to be adding three copies of where stars are born. Also very cheap, coming in at 15 cents. This is the nexus you really want on the field. This is probably the most important nexus. Uh, you can make the argument to remove one big bang energy and just add another where stars are born. I think this is more important, honestly. And at level one or two, it has one place to reveal one card from the top of your deck for each star dragon spirit. Very crucial to listen to that. For each star dragon. So you control. Add one red spirit card from the revealed cards to your hand. So in other words, if you have two star dragons, you're revealing two cards from the top of your deck. If they both happen to be star dragons, you're adding that to your hand. So basically you're getting free hand draw and you're also going to take a look at what's on top of your deck. You can basically mill through the cards you want because that's what you want. You want these star dragons. And then if they're not star dragons, you can return any remaining cards to the bottom of your deck. So you're really rummaging through your deck. You're looking at the top of your library. It's just basically free hand draw. This is why it's such a friendly version to star dragons. And then of course, if you get on level two during your attack step, uh, attack step, when one of your spirits that costs four more attacks, Select one of your opponents with 1,000 or fewer BP and destroy it. Again, we're really not, we really don't care about this second ability. We really just care about this first ability. So go through your library that quick and pick out the Star Dragons that you want. Get them into your hand earlier. Free card draw and you get to see what's on top of your library. Love that. So those are the cards you're going to be adding into your deck. That'll be 15 cards in. And all of this is going to come in at $11.08. So we are actually well uh, below that $15 mark. Of course, this is not the most optimizable solution for the dragon onslaught deck there are way more better options for example adding two copies of this but at that point you're going to be beyond the 20 dollars mark i just wanted to make a friendly version budget for dragon onslaught 15 cards in 15 cards out and then you basically take that go to your locals go to your friends play this game and have a good time with a more optimizable deck it basically comes in if we were grading on a scale of one through five on power level five being the highest this probably come in around two or three and like I said, you'll have a good time playing this game. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll, we'll be going over all of the starter decks. The next starter deck we'll be going over is all of the curses. And we got the purple deck coming up next. And like I said, we will be going over all four of those decks. As always, guys, if you guys enjoyed this type of video and you like the type of content, please just do me the big favor. Just hitting that like button for me. That's all I ask. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Comment down below if you guys would like to see a more optimizable, maxed out version of all of these decks. I'd be more than happy. Budget not included. Like, we'll just slap in all of the high-priced cards. If not, let me know what some of your guys' thoughts on that. If you think I missed anything as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys next time.